little bit there. All right, we're gonna continue on our 74 day run. This is our old run that we can't do any longer. We're gonna do that run there. We finally got our boat. So we got our boat, which is nice. We've sailed around the island a little bit, which is fun. But uh, this game's got a, got a lot of good stuff in it. It's got survival, it's got crafting, it's got uh, some animals to hunt and fight. It has little nasty dogs. It's got a very big island that you can uh, explore. I don't think my boat's out here. I think I left it on the other side of the island. Yeah, I did. I ran all the way back over here. Uh, let's see, fire striker's good. Everything's good. That needs to be repaired. Let's see, what does that do? Oh, that's 40 health regen. Oh, I need to make some more camille, chamomile juice. So I need to go find some... Uh... Ah. Um, let's see. My bamboo. I got a little bit of clean water on me. I got some ropes on me. That's good. Pick up all my sticks. I got a long stick in there too. Let's go find ourselves some uh, some branches that we can craft into some more chamomile juice that'll help us with our help us with our uh, what you call it? Oh, do I got poison on me right now? Oh shoot! Oops. Where'd I drop that? There it is. I need to eat that. There we go. Get the poison done. There we go. All right. So. There might be a little nasty dude over here. I haven't been over here for a little while, so. Okay, we're good. What kind of arrows do I have? So I have some bone arrows and some obsidian arrows. So you got several stats. You can see them over there. You got your your overall health. You have your hunger, your thirst, and your energy. And uh, you can also see those stats here as well. It'll show you the exact numbers. In your journal, you can actually look at everything that you've done. Your total lifetime, playtime, goals completed, blueprints discovered. Hey, Too Honest, how you doing? Hey, Jimmy, or how, you, how are you tonight, my friend? I hope you're all doing well. The ambient noises in this game are great. I love it. I love the ambient noises, the birdies and stuff. Okay, we'll grab these. There we go. You know, I'm doing pretty darn good, actually. I'm actually doing pretty good, all things considered. It's it's a it's a little bit like Green Hell, but there's a there's there's some sailing, there's sailing that you have to do in it to uh, to achieve the goals. Uh, yes, yeah, Survival Fountain of Youth. Um, it's a new game. It uh, I am gonna drop one of those. It's a new game um, that uh, is pretty fun. It's a free game actually on Steam. Um, it ha it doesn't have a green hell backpack, thank God. Um, that's more that's more along the line. See, this one just has slots that you can put stuff in. Oh, um, all my clothes are breaking. Um, it has slots that you can put stuff in instead of the green hell backpack. Broadly speaking, what's your stream schedule? Well, I'm going to be off for the next three days. <laughs> Little bastard. I take his meat. Oh, do I not have a stone? Oh, I don't have a stone tool. Let's make a stone tool then, real quick. Um, I'm gonna be off for the next three days. Um, but I'll be back on Tuesday. We'll do some long dark. 
Do a little bit of, uh, of, uh, the infected again. And then I'll be back, then I'll be back also, like, on Wednesday. Well, Thursday, Friday, that sort of stuff, so. <laughs> but yes, yes, you can go over. Please, please, please go over and give Too Honest to follow. Catch him this weekend, boys and girls. No, you don't, if I, heck, Too Honest, I want them to go over and give you a watch, give you a follow there. Last play in the infected. Hey, look, there's an hey, infected clip. There's an infected they clip. throwing shit at me? Oh yeah, my they god, do... they're throwing shit at me. Yeah, they do throw stuff at you now. Look. That blue... That, those two. They were throwing shit at me. Yep, they do. They, I've, I've noticed that too. They throw stuff at you. Yes, you got a, you got a clip up, the, up there of it. So please, go get my friend Too Honest to follow. Go check him out. Uh, if he's on this weekend playing some, uh, some of the infected... Go give him a watch. Give give him a thing. I think they're just throwing rocks or something. I don't think it's anything in specific, because I've not I've not seen anything in specific that they throw at me. Like nothing lands on the ground, so I'm just thinking they're like throwing rocks or something. I think they're just throwing some rocks at you or something. But yes, if you if you want to try this game out, please give it a try. It is available on Steam for free. The demo's for free on Steam right now. And it actually has a lot of it actually has a lot of content on it for a freebie game. So cook that meat up while I'm here too. And we'll extinguish our fire. There we go. Alright, so we got some meat, we got that, we got those uh, those chamomile juice that helps treat indigestion. That's for poison, that's for flu. This actually gives us health regen over four hours. Um, all righty, do I have anything here? No. Make sure there's no little poisonous dudes around. I hate these things just laying around out here. I always throw the scorpions in back of my, in back of my place. What's my condition on this? 45, 43. 154. Okay, that's that's in good shape still. My stone spear seems a little bit low. What does it take to make another stone spear? Um, stone spear takes a long stick, a rope, and a and a uh, ha a knife. So I'm gonna grab one of those. Grab my long stick out of here. There we go. I drop my good knife, otherwise it'll use that. And then I'll craft up a stone spear. There we go. Can't take any survival game after Long Dark seriously. Oh well, you know, Tarmo, most most survival games are not like the Long Dark. They just they just don't have it in them to be the Long Dark. Let's just be honest. They they are not. The Long Dark is a very unique, uh, unique game in a way, because it just has such unique uh features and unique things to it that it's very hard to compare it to anything else i mean there just is there honestly is no comparison I'm gonna create a portable beacon just for myself is there anything else in here i want paralyzing potion does me nothing right now the jaguar potion is kind of cool sea salt now nah, it's okay I have any water in here the water tank is empty all right i don't think i have any water in either of those do i oh those are both full oh okay okay that's cool i like that we'll drop that what's our weight at right now yeah the long dark the long dark is just a very unique game it's hard to compare it to anything else that's out there Pretty great, there's a scorpion inventory. Yes, there was a scorpion in my inventory. There's a scorpion in my inventory. All right. Oops, I wanted that. Oh, I forgot. So we'll eat that. And then we'll drink out of that. And then we'll just get some rest. We'll just go, we'll just go, we'll just go till morning. I'm actually just gonna drop that here because I got I got three full things of bamboo flasks, got some sticks, 
I think actually I want to leave some of these sticks here just, just so I have them back in my base. I'll take like four sticks with me. My belt's about to break, but it just takes a uh, it just takes a rope to, to get it back. So, um, so we have to travel all the way from here back over to this area here where we left our boat. I'm gonna go back to that portable beacon there, I think. But I'm gonna grab a couple. Now nah, I, mean, I can leave the narrow leaves here. Make sure there's no poisonous snakey boos in here. But yeah, I mean, the, the, for for what this is, I mean, it's just a demo right now. Eventually, there will actually be, what is it, thirty? There'll be twenty-three items that you can travel to, right? And islands you can travel to. Now there's like two or three, I think, in the demo that you can travel to, and that's it. There's no other islands to travel to in the demo other than that. So there's still a lot to go on this game, and this is the Island of Hope. This island is huge. I've still not explored all of this island. There's a whole section, whole swath of the island up here that I've still not explored. Um, so there's there's a lot there's a lot just on this initial island. One of my viewers, Shepard, he's actually spent a whole year in game on this one island, and he has over like a hundred and something hours played on this game. I only got about 30, 35 hours played on this game, and I actually started over. They just had a recent update where they added in one more island into the demo. And so I just started over because old files don't have that island in the demo. Uh, the old, it didn't update the old files at all. So, so if you have an old file, you can't, you can't actually, uh, actually travel to that island. What the heck? What did I? Oh, there was a snake there I didn't see. Oh God, I got poisoned again. Really? Damn scorpion. Gonna rock me like a hurricane. Let's see what's around me right here. I got a banyan vine over here. Oh yeah, let's grab this banyan vine for sure. There's a snake in my boot! Exactly. There was a snake in my boot. Stay away from me, snake. Now, snakes later on will actually have a purpose. Right now, they don't because they're uh, the. Uh, there's a lot of recipes you'll notice in my in my journal here. There's a lot of recipes that are locked. They aren't available in the demo, and one of them is a food item. See, where's food? Tools, medicine, food. One of them is a food item that you can make from snake. There's like a dried, there was like a dried snake tail or something that you can make. Dried meat, baked meat. Oh, I don't find, I don't see it here, but I know there's like a dried snake tail. I don't know what it does, but you can't, you can't actually access it right now. Uh, well, I think I think at some time in the future you will because there is actually a recipe for a poison That you can then poison your weapons with it's not in the game right now either <laughs> there, There's quite a few things that are not in the demo. It is purely it is purely a demo um, it, it doesn't a lot of the recipes are not unlocked Oh, we got that pig. Did I get my arrow back? No, I have not got my arrow back. Where's my arrow? Oh, it must have broken. That sucks. Oh, no, there's my arrow. Oh, look at that. He's got animal fat and bones on him, although those don't do me any good. Inventory's full. My inventory's full. Ooh. Ooh. Now I have a tough decision to make. What do I drop from my inventory? Um... Oh, 
Oh, that filled up my inventory as well. Okay, well, that's okay. Now we got a portable beacon sitting out here, so. Guess we'll have to wait for the fashion patch to make use of the snake skin to get, to get some snake skin boots. And you do actually, as your character grows, you get survival abilities. It actually is locked. It, 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 it's locked at, whatever, 10 or something like that right now. Um, I don't have any survival points left, but it will continue to go. And then you also have skill points that you get from doing things like swimming, drawing, everything from mapping, sailing, all this sort of stuff. You get, you get, uh, you get different skill points that, that are, that are applicable as you raise your, as you raise your levels up. So we're heading towards that beacon right there. I forgot I have a little, uh, got a little, uh, storage area here that I stored some stuff in. Oh, I got coconuts and stuff in here. Okay, that's cool. All right, let's start a fire. Oh, let's uh, add, add a piece of wood or two. There we go. Get my meat roasted up. Make another scorpion poison thing. Oh, shoot. Have anything in here that I want to get? Oh, yeah, I want to take that. Let's extinguish our fire. Oops. Let's, uh, let's fashion up another rope. There we go. Um, I don't know as if I need to... I, I guess I'll take those and I'll eat those right now. Let's just crack open the coconut. Crack open that for some water. And we'll eat that and eat that. That gets us back up to 100% on everything. All right, we're heading. We're heading toward. We're heading towards that. Oh, those are coconut palms there. Let's see if we can get some coconuts from this palm here. Let's see if we can shake the tree a little bit. Uh, the green coconuts are great for water. Oh, it put me a little bit overweight. I'm not traveling quite as fast. So I think what I'll do is I'll leave a few of my coconuts here. And I think I might actually, I, you know, I might actually go back and grab that smoke signal, that signal that, that I dropped back there. Hey, Texas Lily, hello, hello. How are you doing? I think I'll go back and grab that and bring it here and drop it. Let's just leave those in there. Let's leave that in there, the extra spear in there. Stupid chickens. Buck bark. Buck bark. You're just hanging out? Awesome. Glad to have you hang out with us for a little while. Grab a few leaves. We'll need those to repair our clothing, so we might as well gather them now. So basically, this game is set in the 1500s. It uh, it um, it follows the follows the adventures of Ponce de Leon. You're one of his crewmates trying to find the Fountain of Youth. And you set out on a journey to find the Fountain of Youth. And um, you find you, you your ship wrecks though when you find the island cluster where the Fountain of Youth is supposed to be. Your ship is wrecked there. And you're stranded on this place called the Island of Hope. And you have to uh, you have to um, basically uh, Oh, it takes those. You have to survive. You have to. You have to explore. Like we've explored a lot of the island. 
Uh, there's little clues that you can find. There's little quests to go on. You find all these little different notes and things that that show you different like lore of the island. And then you have some uh, you have some uh, um, some story stuff as well. Oh crap! I needed to go to the I needed to go to the mountain. Son of a biscuit! That's where I was going. Is to the freaking mountain. Gosh dang it! Stupid me. I was going to the edge of the mountain to take a look. That's where I was going, and I gotta, I gotta go there to, by daytime, so. Oh gosh, I totally forgot about that. What it was in that smoke signal that made it so important? Oh, it's just that it shows up from a long ways away, and it, I dropped it in a place that didn't really matter. So I just, I just wanted to pick it up to get it off of the map, or to drop it in a place that I actually cared about. So I just wanted, to, I just wanted to pick it up just to pick it up more than anything. And, uh, things... Oh, jeez Louise. You little bastard. So I just wanted to pick it up just to get it, get it off the ground. Really, another scorpion? But, um, so basically you just have to survive on the island, and then you have to eventually build a boat and go sailing, and the sailing's actually pretty fun. We're gonna get sailing tonight at some point. Ooh, Texas Lily with the 15 month. Resub. Actually, Texas Lily, this game is free. It's a free version of the game. <laughs> it's got about 15 to 20 hours. It's got about 15 to 20 hours of playable time, and thank you for the 15-month sub there. I appreciate that very, very much. Um, so it's got about 15, 20 hours of playtime in it currently, and um, and it's really in depth. There's a lot you can do in the game right now. A lot you can do in the game. So I, I mean, Shepard, he's played this for like 136 hours so far. I haven't played it for that long, but he's played it for a long time. And had lots of fun with it, so. Um, he actually spent a whole year in game on this on this on this first island that you're on, that you get stranded on. Actually I should probably grab some of these to make a bed up here. Actually, I can just go all the way to the top, can't I? I'll just go all the way to the top. Forget it. I'll go all the way to the top. We're going up over the top. We'll just sleep up top. And and so far, I mean, I have not run into, like, any big glitches or weirdness in the game. Um, a few little things here and there, but nothing that's game-breaking. And it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. I've done a really good job with it. Damn short-eared dogs. What kills you? The animals. The Well, you can die from hunger, thirst, exhaustion as well, but generally it's the enemy. It's it's generally the animals that get you. Um, it's generally the, uh, the... There's boars that can kill you. Those little dogs attack you. The eagles or the... the there's like these eagle harpy things that attack you that are annoying to try to kill. Um, they, they're, they peck away at you. There's when you get into the savanna, there is there is uh, um, there are uh, jackals that try to get you as well. Um, so there there's a whole host of different little nasty dudes that try to kill you in this game. Actually, you know what? There's a rock right here. Ooh, ow, that would that could hurt. I'm gonna break it into stones. Make myself another stone cutter. 
Yeah, the ja the jackals are the jackals are probably the worst because they come in like packs of three or four, and they are not one shot kills by any stretch of the imagination. They will they will wreck your face, and they're very mean, and I don't like them very much. But it's mainly the animals. The animals will kill you. Uh, you can you can uh, your your boat if it sinks, uh, it will cause bad things to happen. If your boat sinks on you. But um, you have to just take repair kits and keep repairing it all the time. But the hunger and thirst can get you eventually if you aren't being careful. But if you're, if you're at least a modicum of careful, uh, you can stay in food and water pretty well. There's no creepy little dudes in here. What do I got up here? Got a coconut flask and a torch. I got a stomach ache, so I'll eat that. Now I'm gonna sleep. We'll just sleep till morning. Okay, go to the edge of the platform. I don't know. I don't know if it's this platform over here that it wants me to go to the edge of. There's a Scorpio up here. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yep, we got the view from the mountain, boys and girls. See, we haven't even been... We haven't even been over... Oh. Aha! It's going... Oh, there's your next quest that you need to go on, sir. We haven't even really been over to that area over there. That area, that area out there, we have not really been to yet. We've been out to the little island. We left our boat over that direction somewhere. That's where our camp was right down there. That's our little camp that we were at. Hey, Water Lily. Uh, you know, it's new in the sense that I haven't played it for a little while. Um, I, 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 they just did an update to it about two weeks ago, so I started playing it more again. Um, and, uh, and... I just I, I love the game as much as I did then. I think I think honestly it's a really good game. It's 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 got good gameplay. It's got an interesting story. Um, actually, here you know what we can take a little journey here. I will show you the story, boys and girls. The beginning of the expedition. Here we go. This is what the story is. This story is inspired by real events. According to historic records, on March 4th, 1513, three ships sailed from Puerto Rico. They were heading to faraway islands and were led by the famous explorer Juan Ponce de Leon. The goal of Juan the expedition was to search for the legendary Fountain of Youth. It is survival, yeah. It all began in Puerto Rico when Governor Juan Ponce de Leon gave military support to Indian Chief Gaibana in the war against other tribes. Spanish soldiers quickly ended the war and restored peace. The grateful chief told Ponce de Leon an ancient legend of his people. A legend about Bimini, Bimini a it. hidden island lost in the sea. According to the legend, in the center of Bimini lies the Fountain of Youth. Anyone who drinks from it will get health and youth for many years ahead. Chief also gave him an ancient map covered with Indian inscriptions. The map showed an undiscovered group of islands. The location to search was clear but inscriptions were still a mystery to uncover. The captain took faith in the Indian legend and began to prepare an expedition. The best scientists and sailors have volunteered to join this venture. Three ships, Santiago, Santa Maria, and San Cristobal sailed off. I think I was on the San Cristobal. They sure that the ancient map will lead them to the fountain and bring them fame, wealth, and eternal youth. The trip to the islands took almost a month. On the 30th day of the journey, the lookout spotted islands up ahead. 
the very islands from the map. The expedition was one day away from its goal. And then, so that was the beginning. And then this happened. The storm came out of nowhere. None of us were ready for I think for it's the it. same narrator's darkest dungeon. Strong winds and giant waves appeared in a split second and slammed the ship. The sails broke apart and the ship slammed into the reefs. The sailors jumped out of their beds and tried to save the ship, but it was too late. I don't know how it caught on fire, but... I woke up on a sandy shore. I could not remember how I ended up on this beach, but I was alive and full of hope that my friends were somewhere nearby. And this is where we started our survival. And then we found a little note from uh, the survived captain, Captain Pon uh, Juan Ponce de Leon. Our captain, Juan Ponce de Leon, also survived the shipwreck. Sea currents brought him to this same island just a bit earlier before my awakening. He located the grotto and made it. That's his where we made our campus shelter. in the grotto. Then he started to act quickly and what decisively. After building up the temporary camp, the captain began to explore the island. He named it the Island of Hope. Which is where we are right now. During his trip to the small nearby island, he heard distant cannon shots. It was a signal from one of our ships. The captain left a note, then hurriedly packed and sailed towards the sound of the gunshots. He was in a hurry to help his team. In this hurry, he forgot his spyglass on found. the small island. It can be quite useful to we me. We found the spyglass. So that's that's the story thus far. And now we're on a quest to go to the Lonely Rock. And before sailing, we better stock up on food and water. So now we got to go all the way back over around to our ship. Uh, but that's sort of the story of what's going on. And beyond that, it's just survival. You could, I could spend, I could ignore the storyline altogether if I wanted to and spend the next, you know, year on this island if I wanted to. As long as you can keep getting food and water. The thing is right now there's very limited um recipes and stuff. Like if you look at if you look at the crafting the crafting recipes here, uh like part of the food's gone. There's a whole bunch of these that are locked in the uh in the demo. There's a whole bunch of tools that are locked different uh, uh, weapons that are locked um, you, you could make tusk you could make tusk uh, harpoons if you, if you if it was unlocked different arrows obsidian paralyzing and poison arrows are locked there's a whole bunch of uh, clothing options that are locked there's a few different uh, you know like beds with hammocks algae hammocks large protected boxes are all locked um, there's a bunch of stuff like water distillers improved workbenches looms and skin dryers carpentry workbenches, canoes, which is an upgrade for your boat, uh, some other flasks and sleeping bag. There's a sleeping bag you could eventually make that's locked. Um, there's also a lot, of, uh, a lot of different tools, a lot of different things that are locked down here as well. So there's a lot of recipes that are locked in the demo. And those will all be released in the, in the, you know, in the final game. But the free demo is free. You can go download it on Steam. You don't have to pay a thing for it. It's absolutely free. And uh, there's quite a lot to it. There's quite a lot to do and to discover. And the atmospheric... Oh, whoa, 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 you stupid... I do not like you, buddy. I do not like you one bit. Um, the, uh, the atmospherics of the game are really good. It has really good sounds, really good sound effects. Um, quite enjoy it. I enjoy it quite a bit.
And I'm excited to see what happens when uh, when it uh, fully comes out. Very excited to see what happens when it fully is released. Yeah, there's a face right there. Look at that face. Didn't Ponce de Leon disappear looking for the Fountain of Youth? Yes, he did. Yes, he did, as a matter of fact. The Fountain of Youth was his undoing. Is there anything you don't like about it so far? Um, a little... The, the bow... The bow is a little clunky. Um, there is an improved bow, and so I'm hoping that this primitive bow that I have right now is the precursor to the better bow that we'll probably get down the road. Because I find the bow to be very, very clunky and I don't like it a whole lot. Um, so I'm hoping that'll be better if once you get the actual, like, recurve bow, which you can't get right now. Um, so that's one of my big, that's, that's one of my big complaints. Uh, the, uh, the eagles are kind of glitchy, or the birds. The birds that you have to fight are a little glitchy. They don't really... They dive bomb you, and sometimes they dive bomb you really weird. Oh, that's an arrow there. A stone arrow. I don't have room for stone arrows. So there's there are some things that are a little... That, that need work. I'm not saying it's perfect. There's things that do need work in the game. Um, my bow skill... Um, I'm not sure what my bow skill is sitting at right now. Um, repairing, fishing, sailing, mapping. Uh, yeah, I am shooting at four right now. And the, and the skill ups only go so far. You can't unlock any, any higher things in level three, really. Everything after level three is just kind of like an extra. All right, so we got a lot of crap on us. Let's throw some sticks in here. Oh, I got four bananas. I got four bananas. I think I can make dried bananas. Yes, I can. Green banana. I'm just going to leave that. I'm just going to drop it. And all you notice the little white line here? That's 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 how your items are wearing down. Everything does wear down in the game. And you can fix the items. You can fix items. Like, I could fix this if I repair it, but it'll go... It, it, the When you repair an item in the game, it loses overall durability. Uh, spears start out at 66, and if I repair this item right now, it'll go down to current... The, the, you know, from 45 to 38. It's not worth fixing before it breaks. You want your items to absolutely break before you fix them. If you fix them before they break... Um, it's not, it, it doesn't do you really any good. And different items break in different ways. Like, these items break, uh, according to the number of days that they'll last. Like, I actually want to repair this, actually, because these are just getting down so far, it's worth repairing them right now. I need one more palm leaf. I have a palm leaf in here, don't I? Yes, no, I do not. The clothing, I don't mind repairing early. It does lose overall, overall durability. But I'm going to repair it all up because that way, that way at least it's at max. They'll be, they'll be gone in like three, four days. That's going to be gone in 0.8 days. So I'm going to, I'm going to repair that as well. Eventually, you're forced to rebuild all of your items. That's the one thing I do kind of like about the game is the game, the game at some point forces you to to repair to repair your items because you no longer get as you no longer get very much benefit from having them any longer. Luckily, my axe is really my axe is at maximum. This is a brand new axe. So the first time we repair it, it's going to be a it's going to not be that bad. Um, let's see if I... 
Let's see if I repair oops. If I repair that, it'll go down. Then I'll wait. Hey Shepard, how you doing? Alex Life, how are you doing, my friend? How you doing? How's it going? We'll eat that. Store that. I'm gonna craft that. Hey, Farmer Marks, hello, hello. And eat that and get my water back. All right, we got everything else on us we want, right? Oh, I don't need that banana on me. Bye-bye, banana. Bye-bye, nanner. All right, let's start heading towards our other marker here. See, we got a beacon way over there now. We're gonna head out to that. Gotta watch out for birds, gotta watch out for dogs, gotta work, watch out for all sorts of stuff around here. I got three obsidian arrows and, uh, what is it, four, four bone arrows, so those are all nice. The obsidian arrows, uh, they, they lose their, their durability very, 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 very slowly. This is a big structure. We've already been up to that structure and solved the puzzle up there. Now we're just getting back over here to get on our boat. Those guys are always guarding stuff. I took all the stuff off these. These are actually fruit trees. They give you a nice little fruity fruit. Oh, this gives us some... Uh, that gives us that, too. Okay. I mean, in theory, you can walk around the whole island if you want to. I honestly don't can't remember where I left my boat. I honestly don't know where I left my boat at, boys and girls. I thought I left it over here. I may have left it further along the island. I've made these little camps for myself. But I honestly can't remember where I left my boat at. Where's my boat? Oh, I think I, I think I docked after I went to the small island. I think I docked over here. Devs are gonna have Easter eggs when the game comes out. That's really cool. Oh, that is cool. I know. Where did I park the boat? I think I, I think I left it near the, uh, near the shore here by the island. Now there are fishing spots. You see the little fish there? If you go to the edge there and you have a fishing pole, you can actually fish there if you want to, which is kind of cool. If I pick that up, I'm going to be way too heavy. I'm already at 26. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. Still puts me at 34. I can still, I can still move, though. I can still go. See, that's the tree I need to go climb and... Oh, there's my boat! There's my boat! There's my boat! Hey, Husey, how you doing? Oh yeah, I didn't put I didn't put on my I didn't put on my hattie hat. Hold on just a second, boys and girls. I need to move myself down here first. And I need to put on my, my little my little uh my little jungly survival hat. There we go. We're sort of in the jungle. You're in the jungle, baby! All right, so we got some water on there. I got an empty flask in there. I'll put those in there. And I'm going to take out the... I'm going to take that out and put the stones in there. 
I've got the snake po potion, which gives me temporary halts temporary consumption of food, water, and energy, which is kind of cool. Do I have any repair kits? No, I do not. I'm gonna navigate. Now you'll notice right over here I have a durability on my boat. The lower that durability gets, the closer you are to crashing your boat and it not being good any longer. I already did that tree, right? Where's the map trees here? I think I already did that tree. It's that one over there that I need to go map from to get a good map here. I guess I could just park my boat over here. Now nah, I'm going to go around the bend. I'm going around the bend. Now, we haven't started sailing yet. To get to the island, that island over there that we want to go to, we're actually going to have to sail. Oh, and by the way, you can... You can just go diving if you want to. There's nothing stopping you from going diving. There's th there is actually stuff under the water, too. Uh, I don't see much here, but you can't actually go diving. There's no sharks yet. <laughs> not, not, not until we get into the open ocean, to be honest. There is actually sharks out there. There are actually sharks out in the open ocean. We don't have any here near the land. The nice thing about the boat is it has a log holder, has a bed, has a uh, little uh, storage box for you. So you can sleep and you can store stuff on it. You can store logs on it. You can actually, you can actually fish on your boat if you want to. Yeah, I'm, I'm way off the map right now. You can't even see me on the map. But yeah, the durability doesn't go down much while we're sailing around the island. You'll notice the biggest durability loss when we go out into the open ocean. That's when the biggest durability loss will occur. So I want to get... God, I wanted to get around this island here. Or around this point. Get stockpiled up because that island we want to go to is right over there. But I wanted to climb up into the tree that, was, that I saw... I'm gonna climb up into that tree and doing stuff. Mom bringing Chick-fil-A. Should I get a shake or a drink? Oh, I get a shake. I get a shake. Shakes are awesome. See, that's what that's where our vessel is at. Now there is a bigger vessel than this. There's a there's a what they call a canoe, which I think is another upgrade after this vessel. Like this vessel here, we can't upgrade any further. But um, there is one upgrade past this that we can get. Oh my goodness, this is like just all rocky over here. Like Rocky Balboa over here. Look at that moon! Look at that moon! So yes, there are sharks in the open ocean. But there's none close to land, thank goodness. This is kind of slow sailing because we're just doing it manually. But yeah, see there's the there's the island right over there that we need to go to. I think if we I think once we round this little peninsula here, round that rock there, I think that it's open beach after that, but I'm not hundred percent sure. We gotta go climb up to that tree and see if we can uh see if we can uh uh get a little get a little mapping going on oh yeah 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 okay all right yeah so this is the last beach here okay cool cool There's that big tree. What is that? Oh, I've already searched that, I think. We'll just park it here on this beach over here.
Anything I want in here? Let's eat a little food. Let's catch a little sleep tonight. Obstacles completely wet. Oh, that's fine. All right. So... I need to build a little camp here first. So I need to build a little camp. So let's uh, let's get into our uh, let's get in here. Let's look for shelters, buildings. I need to build a canopy. For that, I need uh, I need four. I need a rope, which I got. I need long sticks and five of those. So I need to go find some long, some long sticks. Uh, there's some long sticks right over here. These guys are guarding them, but I'm gonna... Oh, Meaty meats, why not? Oh, we are traveling far. We are traveling far. We're going right back down here again, so. I want to travel to that tree there. I think that tree is the one that will map out the rest of this area for me. I need five of those. I'm gonna dump the dump the leaves here. Oh, I need one more one more of those too. go we got that done drop the leaves oh that that was weird uh, just so I can carry some more stuff I'm gonna drop my bamboo flasks and my ropes here that extra stone knife here actually I'll keep that on me that might be a good thing to have we need to go get a few more long sticks shoot in front of those damn little buggers. Alright, you guys done harassing me now? Jeez Louise, man. I also need to get some sticks. So let's go down to the valley here and grab some sticks. We're gonna need some sticks to make a fire. What's our weight? 27? Oh, I better go drop these off first. Yeah, the, the little the shortier dogs are aggressive little buggers for sure. So, underneath here. Oh, did my did my axe get Oh, my axe got totally ruined by that. So, grab a stone real quick and fix our axe. There we go. Put my axe back in its spot. Oh, my bow's almost done too. But I have no, it say, oh, because I dropped it all. I was like, why does it say I have no rope? But I dropped all my ropes. I'll wait till the bow breaks. When the bow breaks, I'll have no place to stay. Oh, woohoo! Hey, 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 stop rolling. 
Stop. No, no, no. You can't roll. There you go. You stay right there. Just gathering up these dry leaves. I want to make a beacon over here. Well, Maple Cat, uh, it's a fun little game. And how you doing? How you doing? Oh my goodness. Well, hello, hello to Maple Cat Art. We raided Maple Cat and uh, absolutely lovely. Uh, glad to see you here. How you doing? Go give Maple Cat a, uh, a follow, boys and girls. Uh, check, check out Maple Cat when they're playing some uh, Long Dark. Uh, you also do art on your channel, if I remember correctly, right? You also do some art stuff. Oh, there's some art right there. I want my nuggets. I want my nuggets. I want my nuggies. I'll drink that. Get some of these. Get some of these. <laughs> There's a fly. A fly just flew right up by me. Ooh, pretty butterflies. Pretty butterflies. There's chickens all over here, too. I wonder if I can get myself a chicken. To go. Oh, shoot, I missed. Oh, God. Oh, God. Take that, birdie. Oh, hey, he gave us a feather and an egg. An egg and a feather. We'll take it. Oh, jeez the wee. Seriously? Got one of those little buggers. Got one of those little buggers. Give me your stuff. There we go. Yes, yes. Maple Cat Art makes their own, makes their own, uh, makes their own emotes, which is pretty dang cool. You just woke up in Australia. Ooh, working on getting out of bed slowly. I get that. For me, it's about four, fit, four in the afternoon, so, you know, for me, I, 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 I've, I'm, I'm in the middle of my day. Now, see that island over there? That's the, that's the island that we're going to be heading to here pretty quick. So, but first things first, we need to lay down a bed here. So, um, boop, 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 boop. Primitive bed of leaves. There we go. Place that out here so it's underneath the shelter. And then we're also going to put down a... Where is the fire? I know it's like the first thing. There we go. I can't make a big campfire, so we'll just place the regular campfire here. They do like to snap. As long as it's under the shelter, it won't go away. Um... Set that up, get that going. Um, got one leaf to put on there. Then I also want to make a box. I need some storage. That are, is storage under that? I always, I always have trouble finding the recipes. There we go. That way we can store some stuff here. All right, let's store the meat, let's store the eggs, my rope, my coconut. Get all my different uh, uh, different things here. Let's 
store another meat. Let's store um, my ropes and my tendons in there. Store the backup spear. It's kind of heavy. Let's store... Oh, you know what I need to store in here is the three large sticks. There we go. So I need to go get four more leaves. Oh, there's coconuts here too. That can be our food and water for a little while. Yay! Yay for food and water. We need just two more leaves and we'll have our bed made. Oh, there's tons of content. This demo, you can play this demo forever on the content it has. I think Shepard said he played for a in-game year just on this island. Just on this island. Now, there's a lot of stuff you'll notice in the crafting menu. There's a lot of things that have that are not available in the demo. Uh, there's a lot of skills for your character that are not available in the demo. You can only level up so far. Once you've leveled up to three, there's nothing beyond that for extra, extra stuff that you get. And also, your survival points cap out after a certain amount of time. You, you can't get any more than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can't get any more than 10 survival points, period. I take all concentration, then kind of get a little dabble in some other ones, but that's about it. So there, there is very limited amount that you can do in the game as far as like crafting and stuff. But for a free demo, there is a crap ton of stuff to do in the game. There is a lot to do in the game for a demo. All right, let's sleep till morning. Boom. All right. Today's goal is I want to go up to that tree over there. I want to go to the tree. How can I upgrade that? Oh, I need a rope and three of that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to let that meat wear down a little bit more. I'm just going to eat some coconut to get my day started. So yeah, it, it, for a demo, it has a lot of content. Let's drop the green coconut here. Boop. Drop that leaf here too. Boop. Got my arrows. My obsidian arrows are actually wearing down now. Oh, I have an arrow out here that I shot, I think, at one of the chickens and missed. I need to go get it. I need to go get this arrow before I do anything else. Unless that arrow broke, it'd really suck. I guess I lost one of my obsidian arrows. Oh, that's that's sad. That makes me sad. Oh well. But yeah, for a free demo, it has tons of stuff. Um, this one this one island alone is huge. This island alone is just humongous. And there's this little island that you have to you have to explore, and then the quest itself takes you to another island, which you can see off in the distance there. We have to go to that one. There's there's a lot of stuff to do on this on this in this game. I need some more sticks. Oh wow, there's another green coconut. I need to go get to get a few sticks so I can start a fire. Or actually, you know what? I have long sticks. I'll just burn some of those. I might have, but I only have... I only have two of my obsidian arrows left, and I had three. Which makes me very sad. Oh, I can't, I can't ignite it now. Gosh dang it. Oh, there's another green, there's another brown coconut. Coconuts are the ultimate because they never go bad. They're like the ultimate food and water source for you. Especially water. Mostly water, to be honest. Because they never, ever go bad on you. Oops, that one I'd have to cut down.
Well, let's grab a bunch of sticks while we're out here. Now, now, I was telling people before Maple Cat that you can repair items in the game, but every time you repair an item, the overall condition of that item, the overall maximum condition is lowered. So the game basically... The game basically forces you to recraft your items after a while because your stuff is never going to be as good as the the initial item that you that you make. So I'm going to repair this. It only takes a stick, but see, it's, it was at a max of 43. Now it'll be at max of 37. And so I can still use it for a while, but it's not going to be ever as good as it was before. Which I think is kind of a cool, uh, I think that's kind of a cool thing to have. Okay, what was I doing? Oh, I need to make charcoal. Need to make some mapping charcoal. There we go. I might as well, cook. since I got the fire going, I might as well see, can I cook up the fried eggs? Oh, I can't do fried eggs on a fire like this. Gosh dang it, so those eggs are basically going to be useless. I'll cook it up a piece of meat. Damn it, I'll extinguish my fire. Whoops. Then I'll eat a piece of meat. There we go. I've got a rope on me, right? Let's take a rope with us. We'll need that. So where was that tree at? I think that's the tree I haven't mapped from yet. And I think we have to cross the savannah to get there, so this could get very... This has become a very sticky situation. Or did I already map from that tree? Oh, I did already map from that tree. Where's the other cartographer tree? Oh, oh Jesus Christ! Good God, that scared the crap out of me. My bow broke. What you get, son? You mess with the best, you get put down with the rest. Maybe I just have to map from the top of this. I don't know where that final tree is, I guess. Maybe I have to go around this way. There has to be another tree. Is that it? I bet that's the tree right there. Yep, I bet that's the... Is that the tree? No, that's not the tree. There's the tree that I'm missing, I bet. No, that's not it either. Okay, now I'm all sorts of confused. Is either gonna work or hurt. Ow, ow, that hurt. I thought that might work, but I couldn't get the jump off. Are the animals rabbit or something? No, they just don't like you. <laughs> the animals just don't like the cut of your jib. Probably gonna get killed coming down from this thing. I'm 
probably going somewhere the devs had no no intention of letting people get to. Yeah, because that's our starting location over there. So have we got all five trees then? I think we've gotten all five trees. Oh, wow. That opened up a lot. Holy crap. <laughs> that opened up a lot of stuff for us. Oh, there's a jackal over there, too. There's jackals over there. There's uh, all sorts of stuff around here. Yeah, that tree. We got that tree. We got that tree. I know there's a tree right around in here somewhere. My eyes just cannot pinpoint it. Wow, it's raining. Too bad we aren't back at camp. Oh, what do I have? Oh, I have a minor cut. I need to take some medicine. Need to take some meds, baby. Well, mapping in this game is much like mapping in the long dark. The higher up you are, the more you get. If you map from a very low place, you don't get very much mapping in. It doesn't map very much out for you. It's gonna hurt. Oh no, my minor cut became a common wound. So I need I need I need a ba I need I need a steam bleed bandage for it. Gosh dang it. don't behave the way they depict them. Oh, <laughs> well, the wolves have been set free. The wolves have gone crazy from the uh, the Aurora. If that if that's what you're thinking of, the wolves in the Long Dark are crazy, and they're th they're that way specifically. I'm gonna take one of our medicines. My health is really low, and I don't want to die. But that's the thing is wolves the wolves have been have been they've been turned crazy by the uh by the uh the the nastiness by the nasty nasties I guess I I guess I could just repair my bow then I got crabs. Imagine him in so much pain with the water on an open wound. Oh, probably. So I need to get for the uh, leaf bandage. What do I need to get? I need to get uh, two of those and one of those. So I need to actually go get some uh, some uh, the fancy leaves. Otherwise, I'll get no health back tonight.
there's some leaves. There's a stone, too. Wonder what it takes to make a, uh... I need three of those large stones. What's my weight at? 21? I could pick it up, I suppose. Wow. This is definitely a high danger area on the map, for sure. The danger on this side of the map is way more than on the other side of the map where I was. This is what you call the high end area. Wow. What's our health at right now? 26? It's going up though. We're getting some health back, so. I got crabs. Whoa! <laughs> But yeah, I know what you're talking about, though, Megaton. The wolves do act very weird in the long dark. But honestly, that's kind of the way they're supposed to act. They aren't, they aren't like normal wolves. Normal wolves will, will flee instead of attack you most of the time. Unless they're cornered, unless they have a kill. There's a, lot, there's a lot of factors that go into it. But yeah, most of the time, wolves will be like, Peace out, sucker. I'm done. I'm out of here. All right, so we need that, plus we need one of those. By the way, kindling is something that never gets old in this game. Make a steam leaf bandage. Use it. Oh, I need another one as well. Oh jeez, I need a I need another I need another medicine as well for that. Okay. We gotta go back over there. At least I know where I'm going now. Wow. That gets really loud. Nice nice at, at, at atmospheric, but it gets really loud. I'm just gonna get a bunch of these until we're full up on weight. Cause I'll need these to, to make new clothing too. So we might as well get a bunch. I need to make one more freaking bandage now. Gosh dang it. Can you make shelter? Oh yeah, I've got a shelter over here already. Yeah, I've got this little shelter already set up over here, actually. I need one more palm leaf, too. Son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. I need one more palm leaf to make another bandage. Okay, we got all of our cuts taken care of. Jeez Louise, man. I tell you, some days... But now we're super duper 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 tired. Let's grab a meat out. We'll cook that up real quick. Eat that. Split that. And we'll drink it. And we'll sleep we'll sleep the whole clock around. We're sleeping for a whole day. We're like, nah, we're sleeping for a whole day, buddy. What does it take to make uh, another fire spindle? Mine is so low, it's not even worth doing. Oh, there it is. Oh, just two sticks? I'll just make a new one. 
Mine, it, mine is so low that it's that it's just garbage. I'm just gonna destroy it. Oh, destroy it. There we go. Good lord. Takes you long enough. Alright, let's eat a little bit, and we need to drink some. Yeah, see all my clothing's like failing big time. A bandolier's even gonna break here soon. Alright, let's drop this small stick. What we need to do is we need to make a couple repair kits to take on board our ship with us. Repair kits cost us two and ten small sticks, so we need to go get a bunch of small sticks is what we need to do. Get a bunch of small little stickity boos. Is that a green coconut? I had a green coconut here and I didn't use it. I used my water flasks instead. That was that was a bad move, but that's okay. Now see for out at sea. We have, uh, we have dates. And dates last for a long time. Another 93 days these dates will last. So 93. Oh, I have, I have meat out here. I should have, I should have, uh... And see, we, this is a protected, these are called protected containers. You take it out of there, and now it only has 2.6 days. In there it has 5.7. So the protected containers basically double the life of your food. So actually, I'm gonna take that meat out. I'm going to throw that meat in here so I don't forget about it. Oop, there we go. Oh, I got three green coconuts in there, too. Oh, I got ten sticks in there. Yeah, I want to make a couple ship repair kits before we go. At least, at least we can see ourselves on the map now so we know where we're at. Which is nice. Hey, there's another big stone. If I can find one more big stone, I can then make a... I can upgrade my campfire to have a stone pit around it. And that'll allow me to actually, like, do stuff. Actually cook up those eggs. There's three different fires. There's three different fire pits you can make. The basic one, which I've made... Oops, where is it? Um, where are the fire pits? God, I always... Machines, there we go, machines. Center machines. There's a basic campfire, this one with stones, and then there's one... Then there's a hearth with a pot. And you have to actually craft the fired pot to get that, and I, I have already done that at my base camp. I just haven't done it here. Why not? Smack a, smack a passing chicken. Like, you, you want to run right at me, chicken? I will totally, I will totally take you down. Now, you can destroy these if you want to. Then they're gone forever, and you have to pick up the sticks from them. So you can destroy them. If you leave the plants where they are, though, they will eventually get their, get their stuff back. So, you, if you're going for a long-range survival, you might want to leave your stuff up because then you can always come back and harvest it later on they get it back slowly over time but you do get resources back from the stuff like that one actually got a stick back already he played chicken with me and lost yes he did yes he did Another piece of meat there. There we go. Yeah, I found the best defense against the doggos is to sort of back up as they're coming towards you. Oh, there's a deer. Oh, yeah, there's a deer. That's kind of cool. Oh, 
I missed him. I missed the little bugger. Hey, Crow, how you doing? Let's see if we can get some more sticks down here. Was that a was that another little doggy do, doggy dude? Another little dog. We'll grab another thing from him. Our weight's our weight's not too bad. I honestly wish I had a smoke signal right now. I'm just gonna pick up a bunch of sticks because you always need sticks. So we might as well. Our weight's only at 26 right now with those on us. I'm mainly using my spear on the doggos because I don't want to waste my bow. My bow is already in pretty crappy shape, and I don't want to waste it. Ah. Down you go, buddy. Hey, Houdini, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that very, very much. Hope you're having a fabulous day. What does it take to make a workbench, I wonder? Machines, the workbench, regular workbench. Oh, it's just two logs and two ropes, but there's no there's no rope on this side of the island, I don't think. No. All the, all the rope is over here on this side of the island. See, there's the banyans with the vines. That's all over on the other side of the island. We ain't got any of that over here. So we can't we can't go get any ropes, which kind of sucks. Faith, hello, hello. How are you doing today? We are getting prepared to do our first sale. You are here at like an auspicious time. We're getting some sticks together so we can actually craft up uh craft up some uh uh Repair kits, and then we're gonna then we're gonna be going and uh, we're gonna be going and doing a little sailing. I learned last time not to leave before he had at least a couple of repair kits on you. It's very dangerous, very, 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 very dangerous. I only went overweight because we're so close to camp. It doesn't matter. I drop these dry leaves out there. There we go. All right. So I have enough to make three repair kits, I think. Yeah. I can make... I can, I'll make two repair kits right now. But I have enough to make three repair kits, but I do need some wood. And I need to make new clothing. All my clothing has really crappy, crappy time left on it, so. Oh, thank you so much, Houdini. Glad to have you as a viewer, my friend. Glad to have you as a viewer. Okay, I need to, I need to dump one of those in there. And then I need to dump off some of these leaves over here. This is where having all these leaves will come in handy, because now I'm going to be making a... Uh, I don't think I don't know if this actually breaks or not. I've heard conflicting stories on whether that breaks, so. Where'd my other canteen go? I had three and now I only have two. It must have rolled away. Well, that sucks. Oh, it's right there. Okay. I feel better now. I'm going to make another box because I just got too much crap. Oh, I'd have nowhere to put it. Oh, I wonder how far stuff can roll. Oh, it can roll quite a ways. I've I've had I've I've come back and found stuff rolled quite a way down quite a ways down the beach if you just leave it out. If you just leave it out, it can roll quite a ways down the beach.
There we go. We'll just put all that stuff in there. Got my green coconut and that there. Excellent. Do that there. I'm gonna get my uh I get that out. Oh, there's my there's my other one. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. Okay. It's like where the heck did my other one go? Put both our repair kits in there for the moment. Both of my stone tools are really super low, so I'm just gonna drop both of them. Um, okay, so let's crack open a coconut and eat that. When collecting stuff, it just rolls back to your base. There we go. All right. So, we're going to take our clothing off. We're going to get naked. First off, I'm going to repair my bandolier because it's going down. So my band... Oh, oh, oh. There's a bird. Oh, jeez Louise. Oh my god. Stop doing the little... Start doing that, I guess. I lost two of my arrows there. That sucked. Oops, I need I need a... Yeah, see, the thing rolls down into the freaking water. Oh, man, that sucked, because those arrows I'll never get back. One's down in the water, and I think it just disappears when it's like that. Yeah, and I got four bone arrows left now. Summon a lich, man. Summon a lich. I grab a rock out. I'm going to have to make some stone arrows, I think. Hey! We're doing all good, my friend. We're doing we're doing grand. Okay, let's uh turn that into a knife. See, there's also arrows, but we need a feather for those, so. Actually, this guy will come in handy because we're gonna take his feather too. Oh, did I run out of room? Oh shoot. Oh, because I took all my clothes off. I was like, why why do I why do I have so much crap? Why do I have so much crap on me? But I took all my clothes off. Like what is going on here? It should be on the bottom of the ocean, it probably is. But it's like way the frick out there. Oh, there it is. Found it. Loved it. Hated it. And then the other one I shot inland. So it's like way in there. Oh my god. Like, oh my god. <laughs> There's my other arrow. Oh, there's another arrow. Did I find all three? I think I found all three. I found all three of my obsidian arrows. Yes. Yes, all the arrows. All the arrows recovered. I thought I'd lost one of them permanently, but I didn't, so. Yay. Yay me. Okay, so we're going to take that. We're gonna disassemble it. You get you get a little bit of stuff back. That's why I want to disassemble these. Oh no, that one's just to destroy. Cause it's a, it's in too crappy a shape. That's the difference between disassembling and destroying. At least those I get a little bit back from. Okay. All right, let's look at what we can make here. Let's make the hat. Make the skirt. 
Take the sandals. And make the leaf cape. There we go. So these all break in like nine days. So we got nine days on those, basically. All right. So I got another meat now. God, I have a ton of meat. I guess I should just cook some of that. Oh, actually, though, I have meat out here I can eat, don't I? I'm just gonna eat all those and then I'll just refill it. I don't I don't think I'm gonna take that with me because that's just extra stuff that's gonna take up space on my boat. I only have I only have I only have that. Damn it, stop bit rate dropping. I don't know what's causing that. I could not tell you there, my friend. Actually I don't need the feather now. I was gonna make stone arrows, but I have no need to it now. I have no need to make stone arrows. Yeah, those are all gonna be destroyed soon. I want my two flasks for sure. I want my extra spear for sure. What are ten oh shoot. What are tendons used for? Oh, th th that's all they're used for is just the fishing rod? Oh, okay, I don't I, I don't know why I brought the tendons along. That was silly of me. I want that on me. I need my ropes on me. For sure. So there's my food. I got stuff to repair my clothes with. I need to cook up some meats. I'm gonna put some stone actually how much oh that's three stone there I think I can I think I can stack one more stone in there yep I can stack one more stone in there so I'll put the stones in there am I doing oh I'm not doing any streams this weekend at all Fenrig I am off all weekend I have uh, I have plans this weekend with it being the holiday uh, the, it's the holiday weekend for uh, la uh, Labor Day so I am I am gonna be gone all weekend long, so sorry about that. But yes, I, I got I I got plans this weekend, so I'm going to be I'm going to be away. I'll leave that here. But I will be back on uh, I'll be back on um, on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna be going and hanging out with family and friends and just doing my thing. I could use some more narrow leaves. Those stack in tens, so I should I should load up. If I'm gonna use up, if I'm gonna use a slot for it, I'm gonna load it up. Today is prep day, boys and girls. Tomorrow we leave. Tomorrow we leave. Then I'll go grab some more little palm leaf as well. There we go. So we filled that up. I got the stones in there. The dates aren't that heavy. I might just take those out. Actually, that small snake potion is not heavy at all. So I think I'll take that out as well. I'll put some I'll put some sticks in there or something. After my Saturday work, I have three days. Oh nice. Nice, nice, nice. This is nice because it halts food, water, and energy consumption. So that's going to be a good thing for when we're sailing. We can we can just we can just like use that and get rid of all those ailments. All right, so that stuff can all stay there. Um, I'm going to cook the meat up. I'm going to cook all that meat up before I go. I want to grab some more of those those uh leaves that we can use to make clothing with and maybe a few more sticks before we go as well oh, that was a chicken i was like what is that in the ground it's a chicken there's a chicken over there huh 
posture check. Thank you for the posture check there. I appreciate that very much. Okay, there's more sticks over here. I'm going to gather a few more sticks. Oh, there's a deer. I took down a deer once. He didn't really have much on him other than a bunch of meat. I got a bunch of meat already. That's, that's how you do it. You play the guitar on the MTV. So I, I harvested all these already. Trying to find ones I haven't harvested yet, so I don't... There we go. So I don't destroy the trees. That way I can leave them for myself. For when we come back here in the future. We're going back. Back to the future. Well, I might as well grab as many as I can right now. Hey, Stargazer, how you doing? Having seen you in a long, long time. It's been a dog's age. A shortier dog's age. But how you doing, Stargazer? I hope you're having a fabulous day. Welcome to the stream. Tomorrow we sail. And we got our goal, we got our sight set on... Oh, I can't see it right now because it's all foggy out there. There's an island out there that we have to sail to. And that's what we're going to do. There we go. We got 10, 10. I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab 20 of my sticks and take them with me as well. Can anyone tell me why my health bar would not show in the infected? Uh, if you hit the G button, I believe it's G, it'll actually take down the, the little, the little screen that would usually be here. Uh, but if you hit G again, it will come back. So you probably just have to hit G. It's right close to the H and the F. And so it's very easy to hit that when you're trying to hit other stuff. Which is kind of annoying, to be honest, but, um, yeah, that's probably what you ran into. And Too Honest just put it there in chat as well, so. Oh, wow, we are way overweight. Yeah, those damn, those damn big stones. I like them. I like them, don't get me wrong. God dang, they weigh a lot. Yes, that 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 is what that's what you need to do, Stargazer. Hit that G and you'll you'll be you'll be you'll be set to go. I'm going to try to find one more stone before we go. I need 3 to make a campfire. And campfires are kind of important. Not so much where we're going, but they are kind of important. I'll get my extra spear, uh, get my ropes and that potion. Actually, though, what does that put me at weight-wise? Oh, only 22? Okay. So I'm going to leave my water here. Let's go see if we can find one more stone. Actually, you know, I bet there's a stone over here. Bet there's a stone up over here. Oh, there's the island we need to go to. Right out there. There's the island we need to go to. We'll run down the beach here a little bit. There's a coconut tree I could get a couple coconuts from. There might be a stone up here for me. Oh, God, there were these leaves right over here, too. Haha. <laughs> well, that's fabulous. So if so in the game there's there's stone, but there's also quartz. This or uh, not quartz, but obsidian. This is an obsidian deposit. You need a I, you need a pickaxe to get it, but there's nothing you can do with obsidian right now. Obsidian is a is a item that you cannot actually do anything with. 
You can find obsidian arrows, but you can't actually craft any obsidian arrows. They are not yet in the game itself. Hoping to find a rock over here. It's like a big rock. Are right, there some fruit trees? We can grab some fruit. Someone called Quist, shouted just uh, just shouted me out, and it played Valorant. <laughs> well, th with those up there, it will it will keep putting those up there until they're gone. Patch up. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Well, since we're here, we'll grab some fruits. Oh, I don't think these Fajora fruits are worth anything, are they? I don't think those do anything. Ah, there's a little bit of food and water. Well, I was hoping to find one more rock here, but I guess we're just going to have to go without rocks. Figured I'd take a different path. Maybe I'd see a rock somewhere, but nope. No Rockies. Wow, that sunset is blinding. Lots of sticks over here, too. I could have grabbed those as well. I think there'd be some more big rocks out here. Is that a big rock right over there? I don't think so. Oh no, that was just a something poking out of the ground. I found a long handle. Well, that's interesting. Not much I can do with a long handle without a, a, a like a bench or something. The stick. Thinking maybe I can get a little little bird's eye view up here, but nope. No bird's eye view for Athenon. I mean I get a bird's eye view, but I'm not seeing anything that'll help me, so. Never mind. I'll have to remember this over here. I didn't I didn't even realize there were canoes over here. See there's canoes and sticks and stuff just laying on the ground. That's kind of a cool place. My inventory is full. But Patchup, I hope you're having a great night, my friend. I hope things are going well for you. Well, we got a lot of that fruit. We got a lot of fruits here, baby. It's getting kind of fruity in here. You know what I'm saying? Put that charcoal in there. I'll cook that meat up before we go. Sleep till morning. All right, I guess I guess I will I guess I will go grab the uh I'll just get, I'll just, uh, well, no, you know what? There'll be stones on the islands we go to. There'll be stones there. I'm gonna take some of that fruit. Let's see, what do we have in here? My water, of course. Um, I'm gonna leave that partial bamboo flask here. Uh, everything else I can leave here as well. The eggs I can't do anything with because I, they'll... They'll rot. Th th those eggs are gonna rot before I, before I can do anything with them. So I'm just gonna leave them here. Um. Start, damn you. All 
All right, let's cook up all this meat. Oh, that's oh, I forgot the meat does stack after it's cooked. That's kind of nice. All right. Might as well take these fruits. They don't weigh very much. They don't put me too much overweight. Oh, I do need my knife, though. I do need my stone knife. So we got everything on us we want, right? Let's extinguish our fire. Let's be good. Let's be good peoples. Oh, that's an, em that's an empty flask. I'm just going to leave that in there, then. All right, so we're leaving all this stuff here. The island we want is behind that rock there, so let's go. The boat is fully loaded. We got some stones in there. We got sticks. We got leaves. We got coconuts for water. We got repair kits. We got all this stuff on us for water as well. Actually, I'm going to put these in here. Just to just to keep them. I don't really care how much I weigh. I can I can steer the ship even though I'm overweight. I just don't want the food to to I want the food to have a longer life. See the the food in here has twice the life as it does outside. It has six days out here. It has 11, 12 days inside. Because this is a protected container, so it protects your food from rotting. All right, let's uh, let's uh, navigate. There's the island we want. Get out here into the open ocean, then we can start sailing. Set sail. All right, here we go. Hey, thank you, Athena. I'm actually playing Submerged 2, the one we spoke of yesterday. It's free on the Epic Store. Yes, it is. So I'm, I'm glad you're in playing it. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope it's been fun for you. There's many treasures hidden underwater. Hidden treasures underwater. Some can be found on sunk ships. These items can be produced. Can you be used to produce unique weapons? It's taking a long load time. I ho I'm hoping that's not a bad thing. Global map. Time passes faster on the global map. All of your needs, such as food, water, and energy, drain faster too. Play, pay close attention to them. While traveling on the global map, your ship loses durability. If durability is completely lost, a shipwreck will occur and you will be thrown onto the nearest island. The vessel can be repaired at any time while sailing from the deck. You can anchor anywhere and go to the deck to the ship to rest, craft, repair, or use vessel storage. Uh, map objects. The streams carry the ship. Shallows slow and damage the ship. Rocks block the way. Fishing spots allow you to fish directly from the deck. And sh sunken ships are areas with submerged treasures. And so you have to plan out your course. Now we got to plan out. We're gonna go. We're gonna go that way, and then that way. Okay, we'll go that way. So that's 39 miles. So that'll drain down. See how it's gonna drain our stuff down a lot, and that's also gonna drain our boat. So we're gonna do that. My belt broke. That sucks. There's the rock. Okay, I'm going to go on deck. My belt broke, but I still have all the belts. Oh, oh yeah, the belt, the belt doesn't technically break. <laughs> the belt, the belt actually, it breaks, but it doesn't have any effect. The belt, the belt will break, but it has no effect. You, it, you don't actually need a repaired belt. You don't need to repair it. All right, let's sleep. There we go. Let's set sail again. We found the rock we were looking for, boys and girls. We found the rock out in the ocean. So now we can sail to here. There we go.
Sailed all through the night and into the day. We see now we have to scout the lonely rock. All right, so let's throw the uh, let's throw the leaves in there. What's our weight right now? Thirty-three. Throw that in there. So now we're down to twenty-nine. All right, let's uh let's take our raft in here a little bit. So that's Lonely Rock. Okay. Our raft is at 2,900. We should probably repair it. Just like everything else, as long as you keep an item in the third slot, you're fine. If you remove the third item, the belt will unequip and you have to repair it. Oh, okay. Now, can you swap? Can you swap your items? Can you go, can you go boop like that? Oh, okay. So as long as you keep something there, it's good to go. All right. So I'm going to take my repair kits. I'm going to interact with my raft. So see, now my overall, my overall raft is going to go down as well. But I, I want to get my raft back up, so. So my raft durability is at 3,900 right now. Luckily, I have a lot of sticks. And I have stuff that I, I can make. I can make two more repair kits out of that right there. Just the sticks and that alone will make two more repair kits for me. So so that's good right there. Um, What's my... Yeah, let's eat some... Let's eat a date. I haven't eaten any dates yet this run, so... All right, I think we're ready to explore the island, boys and girls. Our energy's a little low, but that's okay. Can I not get up here? What the, what the? Oh, there we go. Oh, there's some sticks up here, too. Nice. And a leaf. Oh, maybe we have to sail... Oh, I bet we have to sail all the way around there, huh? To get to the Lonely Rock. Oh, righty then. If there's anything interesting down here. I saw nothing interesting. Now I almost wish I brought a piece of charcoal along so I could map the map this dang thing. I don't. Yeah, start the map. Yeah, you gotta find. You gotta find. You gotta find the resources. Oh, it looks like there's some fun birds up there. Yay! Why do I have a feeling I need to go over here? I see something on shore there that makes me go... Oh, there's a couple things on shore there that makes me go, hmm, I think I need to go over here first. You had to pull that. You had to pull that on me, huh? You had to pull that on me, you dang birds! I, I saw you there. I heard you coming. There is a cave at the top. Yes. Oh, I can carry the chest. Okay. I thought maybe I could do something with it. Uh, I can demolish it. I can put it on my shoulders. I can demolish it. I guess. I wonder what I get out. I think I just get sticks out of them if I demolish it. I'm just gonna stack them here, just in case. Just in case I want. Oh, there's lots of there's lots of chests out here. There's a starfish and an urchin. I don't have enough room for both though. There's lots of urchins and starfish down here. Oh, caviar for everybody, baby. Caviar for everyone. 
I'll drop the sticks here. I'll drop that here. Let's go get some caviar, baby. Woo! Let's go. This is one of the earliest things that you find is is uh is uh or sea urchins and starfish make caviar. Don't ask me how. I'm not I'm not gonna I, I have no explanations. I got four and three. I got five and three. Five and four. Better swim up real quick. So right here, right here is my stamina. When that goes down, I drown. If there's my breath, if that goes down, I drown. So there's several, there's several ways you can drown. None of them being good. Now I have a even mix. Yes, I do. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Exactly. Caviar. We can sit on a box while we're eating the stuff. Alright, so let's make some caviar. Yum! Caviar's got good food and good, good stuff. It's good stuff, Maynard. You know, honestly, we probably should just, like... I think I can I think I, I think I can demolish these let's just demolish them it's almost it, it's almost nighttime and um, or it's not almost nighttime but we're almost out of energy that that's what I that's what I'm looking at is we're we're almost out of energy completely did I get indigestion I got indigestion gosh dang it that caviar gave me some indigestion my friends that was not very nice of it all right, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sleep until morning. Sleep for 14 hours, there we go. There we go, eat a couple of those. Boop. Oh, I was hoping I could jump it. No such luck. All right. So this is not a this is not a way up over here. Trying to find out where we're supposed to land. Like where is the way up? Oh, there's boxes all over the place here. Oh, it's over here. Well, there's Ponce de Loin's, uh, loins. <coughs> oh, look at that. Oh, we found something. Santa Maria Cannoneer's Note. My name is Blasco Ribeiro. Ribeiro. I am a cannoneer on the expedition led by one Ponce de Leon. De, de Leon. De Leon. Blonde, whatever his name is. 15... 13 AD, our ship, a caravel named the Santa Maria, was shipwrecked and thrown onto the rocks located two days west. Me and our cook, Pedro, left to scout the surroundings and, if possible, find an island with more suitable to live on. Survivors of the wrecked Santa Maria are continuously firing cannons as a signal, but I'm afraid that the only remaining cannon will not last very long. Our lifeboat crashed on underwater rifts. R rifts? I think that's reefs. Near this rock, and we... I had to swim here. When we reached the cave, Pedro slipped on wet rocks and broke his leg. We have run out of supplies and are starving. I will now leave Pedro in the cave down below and go up. Maybe I can catch one of those birds circling around up there, or at least find their eggs. If Pedro and I do not make it out, it make it and die here, please pray for us and take care of our bodies. And we found a book. Now, the books are really nice, and I think when the game is fully out, you'll want to read them, but they basically give you an up on your skill up points, and uh, as far as medicine goes, I could actually use that, so I'll keep that book for right now. Um, there's lots of stuff to demolish in this cave, lots of sticks in the cave. Oh, so we have to go up. 
I see we have to go up here. Do I want to go up first, though, or drop anything here? I've got that piece of meat on me. I could probably make a little fire here. There is an actual torch you can make in the game, but right now the torch is only a discoverable item. You can't actually... You can't actually craft a torch, which kind of sucks. It leaves you wandering around in the dark a whole lot. Let's just put it that way. Um, I also want to craft a little box here for myself. Just so I can leave stuff here when I go up. There we go. You can make a lesser torch. Where's the lesser torch? I didn't see a lesser torch. I don't see a lesser torch. It's the wood club. Oh, you can light the wood club. Oh, very interesting. We're full up. We'll come back down before we need that. Oh, I wanted to cook that piece of meat, didn't I? Let's extinguish the fire. So the wood club you could actually light. That's pretty cool. Well, they, pl they had plenty of wood, that's for sure. They got crates all over the place. There's sticks all over, so they weren't lacking for fire. That's for dang sure. I'm gonna give you guys... Oh, I can't give you night vision. God dang it. God dang it. Yeah, OBS. Right, right now, there's a... Uh... There he goes. I'll give you I'll give you guys night vision while we're in here just so you can see a little bit better. I'm not seeing that, but you guys can see a little bit better. It's still dark as Hades for me. Night vision looks really weird though. Night vision looks really weird. Just wait a minute, we'll be out of here in just a second. take the meat for sure. I'll take the egg too. Maybe maybe I'll get lucky and find a stone up here. Anybody else? Oh wow, there's a bunch of eggs. I'll just take five of them. Oh, shoot. What did we find? This is the cannoneer from the crashed Santa Maria. Oh, geez. Left without a boat on this rock, he was dying of hunger. Uh-oh. Up on top, he found a nest Up and on tried top. to grab some eggs. But the cannoneer underestimated the danger of these birds. The harpies! harpies. Damn harpies. And the harpies pecked him to death. Ah! Maybe somebody else survived on Santa Maria. I That's kind of a cool effect, their wings. 
Their wings are like folding in on them. Hey, feed. How's it going, buddy? There is an improved ship. Oh, there's an improved ship repair kit here. Ooh, oh, that allows 2,000 units, and we can't even make those yet. That's the, thing, that's the thing that sucks. We can't even make those, you dirty little jerk. There were no rocks up here either, which is kind of disappointing. That dirty little jerk. I didn't find any rocks up here either, so that makes me sad. That makes me sad, man. Sad, mom. Yeah, he got pecked to death. Cass! Hello, Cass! How are you doing? What you been up to lately? Cass at Argos Roars, one of our wonderful stream team members. There she playing some long dark. She does a lot of uh, a lot of that, and she does a lot of games like The Sims and Red Dead Online. Go check her out. Give her some love. <laughs> I love it. And she's a master ship uh, repairer too. So never doubt her ship repairing abilities. Just cooking some dinner. Nice. I'm doing pretty good, too. I, I got about another hour to stream, and then I get, I'm heading out for the weekend. For the long weekend. And then I'll be back on Tuesday. I was hoping that we'd find something up there that we could utilize. But all I got was some meats. I got a whole bunch of sticks. Oh, I could make... I could make a couple of repair kits here if I wanted to. I could make a bed here almost if I want to. I need one more leaf. But I have a bed on my ship. Why do I want to waste time making a bed here? got eggs but I don't have an, I don't have the rocks to do anything with them so I'm just gonna drop them I can't find I can't find any stinking rocks on this gal god forsaken island I want my book I want my dates I want my caviar I want my water I'll put the I'll put those in there I want my water oh there's another egg I'll put in there Couldn't find any other freaking rocks around here. Makes me so sad. Got some caviar though, so that's all good, right? I wonder what that is on that. Is that just another crate over there? It's another leaf. I can take that. Our boats, our boats over in that direction. It's around the corner there. Well, this place definitely has a lot of caviar making stuff. See, there's more stuff down there for the caviar. You even move slower swimming when you're overweight. <laughs> I would never have thought that was a thing, but it is. So what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? And now is a great time. It is September, boys and girls. So if you've ever wanted to sub to a channel before, not even mine specifically, but if you ever wanted to sub and you wanted to save a little bit of money, 20% off a one-month sub, 25% off a um, uh, three-month sub, and 30% off if you sub for six months in advance. So, that's pretty cool. Um, bu -bu 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 -bum, bu -bu -bu bum 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 Oh, my raft's, like, right there. Doing its thing. 
I almost want to make a couple repair kits and then save the good repair kit for later on. Because I have enough sticks and enough of these leaves... I have enough sticks and leaves to do it. There we go. So now, now our raft is at 44.55. So it is good to go. Um, I'm gonna put the flask in there, put this... Oh, did I... Oh, shoot, I used the really good one! Oh, I didn't mean to use the good one! Gosh dang it, game, you fooled me! Curse you for fooling me, game! I, I, I used the really good one. I didn't, I didn't intend... I was like, why did it go up so much? Oh, that's why. And navigate myself over here real quick. Oh well, that's okay. We have enough to make a bunch of repair kits, so. Drop one of those. So I need one more, one more leaf. There we go. Eat our caviar. What other foods we got? We got some meat in there. We got the coconuts for water. We got our water. We got another ship repair kit. It weighs four kilos. That weighs 2.4, so I'll just take that out. Put that in there just to, just to have it off of me. What's our weight now, 26? Let's just grab some sticks. Actually though, I'm gonna wanna have room to pick up stuff on board another ship, right? Let's set sail, boys and girls. Time to set sail. Out into the ocean. It said it was to the west. The west is this way. Oh, it's right there. So that'll take us that long, and we'll be we'll be tired, but we'll be able to make it there. Step, find the Santa Maria. Ship at sea. We found it. We found the Santa Maria, my friend. Holy crap. Oh, wow. It's up on an island, actually. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty cool. The water is very nice in this game, to be honest. I, I think they did a very nice job with it myself. We need some food, don't we? And our energy is really low. What time? What time of day is it right now? Oh, let's just sleep till morning. Then we'll go exploring. Then we'll go explore. We bolt the caviars. I know I'm completely wet. It sucks. 
Okay, so what we're gonna do... I'm gonna leave some stuff here. I'm gonna leave the book here. I'm gonna leave my ropes here. Leave my sticks here. Actually, you know what? I have sticks. I'm just gonna build myself a chest. What am I thinking? I got sticks. I might as well just build a little chest. Just build a little chest here. I've got the sticks to do it. There we go. That way we just throw our stuff in there real quick. There we go. Now we aren't that heavy at all. This way if we find a rock or we find stuff here we want to actually like harvest and take with us, we can do it. Like these things here, I can demolish these and get more sticks out of them. Not many sticks, but wow, this Santa Maria really ran aground, didn't it? Santa Maria really ran aground. Holy crap. Oh, oh, wow, there's all sorts of stuff around here. What's that book do for us? Oh, it's a sailing bonus. Nice. Something down there. Arrows or something. Everything is below me, it looks like. Below me? I don't know what I need this for, but I obviously need it for something. Barrels and stuff back here. Something tells me I should have brought my torch along. Search the captain's cabin. Use the key to unlock the cabin. Okay. Alrighty, so we have to get the key now. Those I can just demolish. I think somehow I have to get down into the bottom of the boat. How do I get down there, though? Use the iron rod to undo uh, to do that. Okay. So where's this iron rod at? Aha! I found the iron rod, boys and girls. Now we just have to do a little iron rod knee on us, on it here. Actually, I think I need that cannon. I'm going to take the cannon with me. I'm pretty sure I need this cannon down here. Good God, it's freaking dark in here. Actually, what does it take to make a club? I'm going to do that. I've never made a club before, so... I don't even see the club on here. Ah, here we go. Club. Oh, it just takes a stick. Okay, let's do it. we go oh my god seriously oh snap what's this in here gunpowder bag and a cannonball Tons of old boxes in here for sure. This is much better. It's much better with a little club that's on fire. Oh, there's a torch right there.
There's a torch right there. Okay, I guess we'll let it slide this time. Oh, you can sleep in that bed. There's some coal. I don't know what coal is used for. Oh, it's flint. No, there's coal. What blueprints does that go? Oh, smolder. Okay, so that's something you can do later on. Oh, is the flint something you can just utilize? Oh, it's a fire starter. So I can just drop that because I got a fire starter in flint now. Okay. Cool. There's the key. I've done this before, by the way. So I, I knew I had to have the cannon down here to do that. I knew that was something that I would have to accomplish at some point to get into the captain's cabin. But we have Flint now, so that's good. Legend! Hello, hello. I found the pla I f I plate found on Santa Maria. The plate shows an island and symbols describing specific details. The text describes the most important features of the island. Snake poison, agave, aloe, and obsidian. The route is also indicated as 35 miles to the northeast from where the plate was found. So 35 miles to the northeast. I add the binoculars. All right, here we go. Captain of Santa Maria and his mate are killed. It looks like the killer took them by surprise. Who? But who? Who could have done such a thing? Who? And who? most importantly, why? Mm. Yes, but why? Who? The captain tried to write a note. But managed to leave only two words. Crocodile Island. Crocodile Island. Maybe I will find other survivors there. Yeah, let's do it. Mortally wounded captain managed to write down two words. Crocodile Island. Crocodile. Crocodile. Alright, so we got the torch there. I gotta extinguish this, I guess, huh? Is there anything else in here? Anything else I'm missing? That looks like we got everything here. Can I, can I extinguish it? There we go. I'm gonna hang on to that torch because it might be nice to have. I guess I don't need the wooden club then. Bye bye wooden club. I made you and then I destroyed you. I feel so bad, but at the same time, it's like that's sort of life, you know? It's life in the fast lane. Okay, so if you ever need to go back and look at anything in your journal, you can go, okay, we found the Santa Maria captain's note. We found this plate. 35 miles to the northeast is where, it, I, where that is. There's also these other ones that we found. See, like, here's a plate for the, uh, found on the island of Hope. 60 miles to the northeast is another, is another island. Now, I don't know if those islands actually exist in the game yet, um, but I guess we'll see. They're adding mounts and Icarus soon. What? What? So all these notes, you can always go back and look at them and sort of see where other stuff is. But as of right now, though, we've reached the end of the goals. There are no new goals for us. Binoculars... Increased visibility radius but during sailing by 15%. Okay. And that's the copper key we got. Santa Maria Captain's note. We found this. So 35 miles to the northeast. Let's let's give that a try. Let's see if let's see if there's actually let's see if there actually is something 35 miles to the to the east, northeast. make another uh, shippy shippy repair kit I'm gonna ship the repair kits and 
then we're gonna eat our food. And, uh... Drink the last of our water. I hate, I hate leaving behind bamboo flasks, though. Whoa, my boat moved. My boat moved. Is there caviar stuff down here? I can't remember if there was or not. Because now we're down to dates, which is 35 food and three coconuts and some of this and, and, a, and one, one flask. One full flask. How much does that repair? 500? Where are we at? Yeah, let's, let's just repair. I know it takes down my max, my max overall, but that's okay. Actually, I want to go... I want, I want to just swim down here and see real quick if there's more caviar stuff down here. Let's, du let's dump some stuff off here in the... Uh, in the box and take a little swim. Take a little swimmity do, boys and girls. See if we have some some uh, some caviar making stuff here. It doesn't look like it. Nope, it looks like that first that first landfall was the only caviar that we had. That's okay though, at least we know. time of day it is. Uh, it's almost night time. Let's just sleep all the night through. Then we're gonna eat and drink real quick. Now we're ready to sail. Actually, what, where's that potion? For one day, you have power of the snake. You have snake power for a day. Let's set sail, boys and girls. So northeast, we want to travel northeast. Let's see. It. Let's see if we can. I don't even. Oh no, it's it's blocked off northeast. Totally blocked off northeast. Um, that's the little island there. travel down there real quick. Oh, there's an island. Unknown island. Nice. Well, we'll get down here. We'll drink up and stuff. We'll go on deck real quick. God, it sounds like we're exploding out of the thing. the last of our that's the last of our water well we got water in there i guess rest the night through eat a date drink some water we got an island we have an island what is snake power uh so what the snake power thing does is it completely halts? Um, it completely halts uh, consumption of food, water, and energy for one day. And I'm gonna use I'm gonna use that when we actually want to travel back to our original island. I don't want to use that right now. The tiny piece of land.
Let's go inspect this tiny piece of land. Well, it's something that you can't just get. I mean, you have to find it. I had to discover it. Um, oh, it looks like there might be coconuts and stuff on this land. That'd be good. We could definitely use some coconuts. Looks like there's some other things on here, too. Let's sail up. Let's roll up. Let's roll up. some of these here nice there's conks there's uh there's uh trees with uh with stuff on them a couple rock islands around here love the conks that's for sure and lots of sticks that's all fire making material there baby that's a narrow leaf. I don't have any room for that. All right. Right in the middle of the island. Let's build ourselves a... Uh, oh, is that... No, that's not, that's not anything. Let's build ourselves a little fire right here. by moonlight my friends oh my belt and my, my clothing are basically falling off of me at this point so breaking point nine days okay you go you do that you do you let's make ourselves a little box of course gotta have a box What's in the box? What's in the box? Put the leaf in there, that in there, my books in there, the ropes in there, torch in there. I don't even know why, I don't even know why I lit the fire. I can't make any. Oh, I wanted to make charcoal. That's what I wanted to do. Can I make another charcoal? All right, yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to do is make the charcoals. Okay, can I disassemble that and get something back? Yes, I can. That's just to destroy. Actually, you know what? Let's grab let's grab a few. Let's grab a few of these real quick. I think that's all I think that's all I need to craft. No, I need one more. Yeah, the snake power is OP, but it's not it's not like it's unstoppable. You could, I mean, there, there's, it helps. Don't get me wrong, it helps. Those conch shells help a lot too. All right. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna repair my clothing because my clothing's good enough right now. Oh shoot, that's almost dead too. There we go. Now my clothing will all break in like eight days. So that, that's not that's not that bad. My my backpack's gonna break in 33 days though, so that that will be bad because I'll lose all my backpack space. 
I basically have like four slots available. The backpack adds, what, 11 slots? So basically, yeah, I'd have five slots available once the backpack breaks. Which fights really hard. Which is really sad. I like those little conks though. Those things are nice little food for us. Just temporary food, but it's a nice little food source for us. And if we really wanted to, we could kill some crabs. We could kill Mr. Krabs. Then cook up some Mr. Krabby boys. So the conch shell over here. I bet I could just run after these guys with full stamina and just get them. Looks like these guys are making a... It looks like these guys are just running around the island. Ooh, they are fast little buggers. There we go. Not Mr. Krabs. Not Mr. Krabs. Oh, geez, Mr. Krabs, what will you do? All right, I'm going to put those in there. I got three of those. Grab a couple more here. Let's throw three more of those in there. We've got crabs and conch shells to last us for a little bit. I gotta cook the crabs up, but that's okay. Let's just go sleep out on the raft. Eh, I don't even need to sleep right now, do I? We could just sail. We could set sail. I mean, I, I probably should cook the crabs. Let's cook the crabs. Where, the, where all the chatters go? I don't know. Oh, the crabs do stack in fives. That's nice. I like that. both the conch shells. Leave those. Grab my coconuts. Grab my ropes. Leave those. Grab my book. Oh, I wanted to map here, didn't I? There's nothing to map here. Oh, then never mind. I was like, oh, well, I can map this island. Oh, no, you can't. No, you can't. I am actually going to use that. And then I'm going to sail. So now I lose no energy and nothing for a day. Is it just me or did my boat float really far away last night? 
Thank you, you see Buster Jack. My boat went really far away last night. It was making a break for it. It's like, I'm done with the Thenon, damn it. I'm done with this fool. I'm leaving. Okay, anything in here we want? Nope. I just want my cocoa nuts. I'm cuckoo for cocoa nuts. Let's set sail, boys and girls. See what's what. I guess I could... Well, this current's going that way. I guess I could sail for over here. I don't think it's registering that properly. Okay, now my stuff is... Oh, it was actually registering that properly. Okay. Go on deck. What's my boat's vitality right now? Okay, it's good. It's good. Um... Wait, where'd my crabs go? I had five crabs. Oh, they're disappearing. Oh crap, they, they disappear quick. Should've put them in the box. Should've put the crabs in the box. All right, let's get some sleep. Well, that sucked. I got all those crabs and it did me no good because I didn't I didn't have enough stuff for them. This way we can get back to the Isle of Hope. Yeah, let's do that. We got a base on that side of the island. Then we can at least restock on food, restock on uh, water. Uh, durability is less than 50%. Okay, so we need to also fix our boat up too. Basically need to do a lot of restocking, boys and girls, before we adventure out very much further. That's the long and the short of it. Jeez Louise. That was loud. Oh. our camp right in front of us. Yay. Our camp's right over here, so that was a good that was a good raft we did. Our raft is down to 1700 condition though, so we need to do some major up uh, major repairs on it. Unfortunately, we cannot craft that advanced repair kit yet. Which kind of sucks. Really? <laughs> Guess I'll take your egg. That don't do me much good. All right.
right, we got a few things here. We got some coconuts here. I wonder if these trees have regrown any coconuts yet. Oh, yeah, it's got one green. It's got one green on it. Nice. Well, awesome. We're in a good we're in good position now. All right. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to need to head back around to our main base over here. Um, we're going to have to head around to the main base. We need to stop and get some ropes along the way. We're probably going to we're probably we're just going to walk all the way around here. Probably walk all the way through and then just come back to our boat over here. Because that way we can just gather stuff as we go. We can leave some stuff here. Uh, we'll be able to repair things. We've got lots of stuff to do. But that'll be for next time, boys and girls. That'll be for next time because I got to get going for the night. I appreciate you all coming by and hanging out with me. Uh, thank you so much. Go check me out on YouTube as well. Um... And please go check out the other members of our stream team. Especially this weekend. Go check out, especially Gameslift tomorrow is on. And I know he's going to be doing some stream loot stuff and have a lot of...